morning it's Thursday June 27th I know it's not June 27th now when you're watching it but whatever I don't care we are on our way to Chicago just left South Beloit Illinois we are a Canadian team truck drivers. We travel all of Canada and the United States. Me and my dog, Diesel. You'll meet him in a second. I didn't have time to do a proper good morning clip for you because we're in a rush. We got three drops to do today. We still got an hour and a bit to drive. So, let's see what happens. Welcome to today's vlog. Town. Beautiful day. Everybody's out enjoying themselves, and I'm just getting in their way. We are 11 kilometers from where we're supposed to be. I don't know where this road's gonna take us, but as long as they unload me when we get there, that's all that matters. I don't get to drive through too many towns like this. Usually the interstates go around, so this is kind of exciting. Are any of you from Aurora, Illinois? Just curious. Any of you know where that is or live close by? Okay, so now we're on this road. No idea where we're supposed to go. Where is that low bridge? It's over there on the street to the right of us. We're supposed to go here to go around it, but. I don't know. Wow, we got a little bit lost. Thanks, Aurora. Your streets are confusing. I think I went through a residential zone, but it said, it didn't say no trucks. I didn't hit anything. I don't know. I think it was a truck route. There was other trucks on it, so that means it's a truck route, right? Dang it. Well, we're all okay. No, we're giving her now. We are eight kilometers away still. Jeez, it feels like it's taking forever to get there. trim these trees a little bit more here, don't we? Oh, and someone hit a skunk. Oh, it stinks. Or diesel, is that you? Okay, so we finally made it to our customer. Hey, it's hot. It's hot out. It's summertime in Chicago. And yeah, I called them yesterday. I told them how much I'm bringing, right? The majority of my trailer is going here. And so it's, it's a lot going in here. Apparently the message didn't get through that there's a lot. So they don't have room for it. So they're gonna spend the next half hour to an hour making room for it. So I'm gonna sit in my truck here and play my Sims game that I bought. I installed it on my computer last night, I'm really excited. And from here we got two more drops in Chicago area here. Hopefully we'll get them done today now, because now I'm gonna be here a while. If we don't, I'll get the last one done tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon I am picking up in Nina, Wisconsin. Yes, home with Green Bay Packers. Even though I don't watch football. I tend to cheer for the Packers because that's, like even in Chicago here, just inside the receiver here, one of the guys in here is wearing a Packers shirt. I see them everywhere. Doesn't matter what state you're in, doesn't matter what country you're in, all across Canada. All I see are Packers t-shirts and hats and flags and everything. Popular team, eh? Go Packers, I guess. But uh, no offense to all you other football teams, I like you all equally, but I just see a whole lot more advertising for Packers. So we're going to go pick up in Wisconsin, and that's going to Lloydminster, Alberta. Uh, but it only delivers on Tuesday, because July 1st is Canada Day. So we're going to deliver it on July 2nd in Lloydminster, Alberta. And uh, we're going to go home for a bit in between. Yeah, that's nice, because home's right on the way, so that's handy. And then July 4th, we'll see where I am. That's uh, American Independence Day. So a big week coming up here for both countries. Alright, so we made our drop there. We got two more left. They're very quick ones, so we'll probably, probably be able to get them done today. 
Now we're driving through the village of Plainfield, Illinois. Anyone from around here? Right by Oswego, where we just were. We're on our way to Woodridge. Not a bad little town here. I think it's all part of Chicago. It's like a suburb. It's all connected, it's all the same. Too many people all in one area, that's what I say. Spread out. Alright, so we're still on our way to Woodridge. I don't know, but I have a feeling this is going to turn into an interstate. There it is! Just went right over the interstate. Finally off that little back road. our way onto the interstate. Now which interstate is this? I don't really care. I'm just glad I'm on an interstate again. Hey everybody look out. Here comes Trucker Josh. Let me in. Move over. Thank you very much. That's how you merge. See how I'm at the speed of traffic by the time I hit the traffic lane? Ah, do a whole video ranting on how people don't know how to merge. See we are on I-55 northbound my GPS says and the GPS never lies. That's a lie. GPS lies all the time. Alright, so we are on our way north to Wisconsin. We have an empty van trailer behind us. That's right, we finished all our deliveries. We got them all done on time. That's right. And we are on US 45, LaGrange Road. Headed up to near Green Bay. Yay! Close to the Packers there. Gonna pick up a load that's uh, going to Alberta like I was telling you before. But we're going home for the weekend first. So we'll be home Saturday sometime and we'll be leaving Monday morning. That's the plan. Well, we're still looking for the interstate. But this is a very interesting little road that we're on here. We are still on the 45. It's just gotten a little more scenic suddenly. The junction of the 83, apparently. We are 10 kilometers from the interstate. Yes! Good old over a fancy bridge. So yeah, today has just been a lot of running around Chicago area. Not really much to show you, but I mean, can't show you everything. Don't collapse, don't collapse. Okay, good. All right, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's right, the big city of Milwaukee. Well, it's not as big as Chicago, but it's big. A whole lot bigger than Winnipeg, that's for sure. We are on the south bypass uh, 894 and 43 or something like that yeah that's what the GPS is telling me a lot better in Winnipeg South Bypass eh on the perimeter you remember that from my local videos yeah this is a bit more uh, fancy and bigger and wider and better and all that stuff yeah we are still 160 kilometers or 100 miles from where we're gonna load tomorrow first thing in the morning now here's the plan. We want to get as close as possible to where we'll be loading. If possible, I'd like to sleep right there. I still got to figure out if I can do that or not. Because I want to load, it's first come first serve and I want to be loaded right at 7 a.m. when they open. Because I am pretty much exactly 1,000 kilometers from where I'm going to cross into Canada. So 10 hours, give or take to the border and then it's only an hour and a half home from there an hour and 15 minutes so I can get home in you know 12 hours or so give or take and if I leave there let's say if I get loaded out of there by 8 o'clock or even 8 30 I'll be home by 9 and I can enjoy an evening at home all right we have arrived at the shipper we're gonna sleep right here be here first thing in the morning at 7 a.m. when they get here so that we're ready to go 
hopefully get loaded right away so that we can head back home and get home and enjoy somewhat of an evening at home yet. Mm, yeah, Diesel's in the front there. Diesel, want to say goodbye? Come here. Come on. Come. I don't want to be on the camera. Say hello. And say goodnight. Want to say goodnight? Nah, he just wants to go to bed. Alright guys, this is the end of uh, whatever day this was. And I will see you first thing in the morning for the trip home through Wisconsin, Minnesota, and North Dakota. See you then.